So guys, welcome to another video. This particular video is the beginning of this series. So this series is all about Freeman motion, right? So this particular playlist is just going to serve as all things Freeman motion, every API available in Freeman motion different concepts and from, from basic to advanced concepts in frame and motions right so we'll be looking at we're we'll looking at different concepts different apis different um, hooks available in frame and motion and to, just to derive and just to understand the power of frame and motion like I said, this is going to be very beginner friendly, right? So if this is your first time working with frame and motion or the first time you're trying to work with frame and motion, this should get you started as soon as possible. So what method are we going to use for this particular playlist? It's just going to be each video in this particular playlist explaining concepts and explaining concept and i and i'll try as much as possible not to make it very um very long videos it's just going to be very short videos and try to explain try to explain every concept in every video as straight as straight as possible and give you examples and um yeah give you examples of the possibility of frame and motion. Now, the first question: What is frame and motion? So, if you're a React developer, right, in 2024, and you try animating your components, or should I say, the elements in your web applications, you could agree with me: It's very complex, right? To do um to animate stuff, to take stuff from one particular position to the next. React as a library itself doesn't provide, doesn't provide any solution out of the box for that, right? That's why we need something like Frame and Motion. It gives us the superpower to animate our components. Now, mind you, we could animate our component with css css3 css animations and transitions but if you try that if you've tried that you could confirm with me again that it's very complex right it's gonna take you a lot of time to be able to write a lot of keyframes and a lot of things to happen across your screens and components so that's the whole idea of program motion to make Make it easier for you to animate. Make it easier for you to be able to move items, do some animations across across your application, right? So as seen in the um, in the documentation here, it says the production ready motion library for React, right? So it's you could use it in production. It's like it's been around for like a while and it has up to like 2 million weekly downloads. So like it's production ready for your React applications. So you're out of the box, just having Prima Motion in your application. You have access to animations. You have access to variants. You have access to gestures. Um, you have access to, to drags. You have access to tabs, you have access to scroll, you also have access to animating your SVGs just out of the box, right? So you can see here now we just have a box here where we just try to change the position, the position X, the position Y, try to scale it, try to rotate just with this line of code, just with this line of code. Like it works like magic, right? So that's the whole idea of um the whole idea of this playlist. We're gonna to try to break down every concept involved in frame and motion and try to make it easier for us to understand what's happening behind the scene 
and makes make us a professional or a pro using Freeman motion. Yeah, I think I think we we are good to start. So next, we'll be setting up our projects and installing Freeman motion in our React app. Let's get started. <laughs> 